Let's see how jubbly. Oh my God. <sighs> Jason. That was in the fridge? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, so I got a bunch of lemons in the sink with hot water and, by the way, lemon juice from the, from the jar just to clean it a little bit. Because I don't want the soap in there because I want the juicer, you know? Oh, yeah, right. So then, yeah. This is the juicer that Jason's mom got him for his birthday. And they had something like that in Holland when you were a kid, right? Yeah, exactly like this. It's, it's just a just a one arm crank. It's from I think she probably got it on Amazon. It's all steel. It's stable enough to use one handed. It's very powerful. Very yeah. sturdy. And these lemons are the right size where you, you don't even have to cut them in half. You just cut the top off like that. Yeah. I want to show you from the other side because it's a little bit backlit. Oh yeah. And obviously, step number one: get a container to catch the juice. I make that mistake every time. Oh right, yeah. And then just like. Oh, 10 lemons, maybe less. That's this much juice. Yeah. Wow, bright. 14 ounces. So I got beans and greens, a little scoop of yogurt that actually distributes in almost in the way that creme fresh would. And then an egg that I cooked a little bit too much. And the greens are kale and the there's fennel in this as well. Oh, and lots of lemon. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup and tell you about the night we had last night. So yesterday, we went to um, this event with Vans. It's called OTW or Off the Wall. And it was for a new shoe launch. My friend who goes out to like the DJ nights every once in a while, he's friends with my partner who also DJs. Like I've been DJing with him for like over 15 years. Um, but his name is Hector, and he just, I don't know, he just messaged me one day, and he's like, hey, do you want to go to this band's um, event that I'm a part of? So I was like, yeah, totally. I don't know how I would like fit into that, because I don't skate or anything. Parasexus comes on, and then Jason is talking to his friend. Anyway, so they go on to the uh, ramp thing and start watching the show, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go run to the bathroom, so I did. And then when I left, I ran into my friend from Long Beach, Kathy, who used to work at Vans doing like PR and stuff. We are just catching up, and I hadn't seen her for like six months or something like that. And she introduces me to Van himself, the guy who um, owns Vans now, like Steven, I think. So many random people from different parts of life, I'm like, how did everyone, like, come together for this and it felt like in Mystery Men, the movie, there's this part where um, a bunch of the villains get together for like the villain's ball or something and they're all like dressed differently and they all, yeah, they all look very different and they're, you know, doing different things in life and yet they all get together for this one event. Just super fun and what a strange and rad experience. Um, and I'm so lucky to like just know so many random people in different parts of life that I get to go to these like these random things, you know? Anyway, today Dossie and I are going to go to Hashimoto's, which is a gallery that Maddie is in right now and look at her stuff before it gets taken down on Saturday because the closing reception is on Saturday and I kind of want to get in there when there's no one in there, you know, when um, the gallery is pretty empty, just so I could take my time and look at everything because I love gallery shows, like openings and closings and stuff, but I feel like it's a little bit overwhelming sometimes. Bright and illuminating. Yeah. Yay, this is so 
it's perfect. Yeah. It's family, it's familiar, you know? I usually eat my burgers upside down. Like oh, wait, this. I guess I am too. So what we're gonna do is just cut off, what I'm gonna do is just cut off the end like this, and then cut, but leave about an inch from the bottom so that it doesn't cut all the way through. And the point is that what I wanna do is just salt it and then throw it into the jar. This is Jason's favorite spoon. He got it from his roommate like in SF ages ago. Okay, so Patty Smith, Will Smith, Anna Nicole Smith, who is this? I'm just gonna pour the salt directly into the bowl and kind of feed it through. So like that. And then like that. And then drop it in. The juices from the flesh will come out and then kind of like ferment everything. Bubba Smith. Oh my God. What the heck? Musician. Oh, Anna Nicole Smith isn't a musician. I was like, why would you have a shirt of all musicians and not? Yeah. Okay. Got it. I've been really into Yuzu Kosho, which is like a Japanese variation of this, which is with Yuzu and um, chili peppers. And yeah, it's so delicious and kind of expensive for like a little tiny jar. So I wanna eventually make my own, but it's like impossible if I need yuzu. Still have some lemons left, but I think this will be good for juicing because they're not like beautiful lemons. And some of these have thicker skins, so I feel like it might not even be Meyer lemons. When I was younger, I used to have to um, iron my dad's um, work shirts they always wore these like button down short sleeve shirts and that was like a part of my chores, you know, just ironing a bunch of shirts all at once. So yeah, I would always start with the collar and then the sleeve and then uh, the front of the shirt. So this kind of reminds me of that, but this is, I think, far less work. It's so funny because we had so many chores growing up there's like five kids in the family um yeah and i feel like well i'm the middle child right and i feel like uh the chores just got easier and easier as the kids got old i mean for the older kids it was pretty hard but for the younger kids it wasn't that hard so i don't know I don't think my little brother ever had to iron. I know my little sister did have to iron once and she burned my dad's like designer pants or like custom made pants. And then he was pretty, oh man, there's some color coming off. Fuck, what does that mean? Maybe it was a different color before because I'm looking at this and these are different colors completely. Maybe someone tried to dye it, you know? Yeah, it's not as much on this side. I'm at the craziest event, you guys. This is Glow Recipe. Here, I'll walk you through it. This is insane. I'm gonna grab my drink. Um, Non-alcoholic.
topically as bronzer. Oh, nice. It smells so good. Yeah. But like, look at the cheek. Look at the glow. Oh, yeah. And it gives just a little bit of warmth. Yeah. So it's really pretty as a makeup product, but it's also stunning all over just to kind of warm up the whole face. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. It is so loud there. I've never been in a penthouse bathroom before. This is what it's like, you guys. Like, big exposed toilet. Wow, like a walk-in shower. That's bigger than my bathroom at home. <laughs> Uh, bathtub, stacks of towels. Yeah, this is crazy. Um, yeah, so that guy, Colby, I think is his name. That's one of my cheeks. And yeah, it's pretty all right. I feel like, I mean, I think it might be something that would look better in the daytime. Okay, so I'm just getting ready for my next event, which is also in West Hollywood, Jesus Christ. It's for Dr. Jart, which I'm actually really excited about. I've been wearing Dr. Jart every day and it's my favorite skincare brand in terms of like Korean skincare. Anyway, um, at this Glow Recipe event, they gave us a little goodie bag. And in the goodie bag are, well, the new product, which is the Glow Recipe um, Watermelon Dew Drops or Hue Drops the tinted one and this is the old one which I've used before um, I actually grabbed another one from my friend Rumi on my way out and then they gave us this little box with um, this thing in it and I plugged it in and it's a light and the light is super cool here I'll show you real quick it's I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a ring. It's um, supposed to be kind of like, I guess, golden hour, but there's a ring around it. I don't know. I just think this is gonna be so cool for filming. Um, yeah, I can't wait to show Maddie. Like at first I was just like, damn, this is another like PR thing that's gonna be so, I don't know. Yeah, it just looks like a projector, right? I was just like, damn, this is gonna be another stupid PR thing that just wastes. Sometimes you get things that you just don't have a use for or you'll never need, you know? And it just seems so wasteful. So it bums me out when that's the case. But no, this I would actually use and I hope everyone uses it. Oh, the other day when I went to the thrift store with um, Dacia, I got this shirt. Well, I got it for Jason, really, because I have a button down shirt that I really like. And there were all the times I wanted to find one for him. But uh, it doesn't fit, so I'm wearing it for myself. And the cool thing is that I can also just wear it. Yeah, so I got this one, and then I also found this shirt um, because Jason had one that's very similar to this, same size and everything. But um, anyways, I washed it, and it doesn't quite fit him, so I'm going to wear it for myself. And then I found this, which is a one-piece situation. Um, I think it's so cute. It smells, I don't know how to wash this, so I haven't washed it yet. It smells like a thrift store, you know? But it's really cute and I can't wait to wear it. And then I also got this. Maddie collects a bunch of these glasses. So whenever I see one, I always get it for her. And I thought this was cute because it's kind of ribbed on the inside. So, I don't know. It just looks really cool. I'm gonna give this to Maddie the next time I see her. Oh, and it says France on the bottom. So, kind of fancy. Really delicious. Oh, it's going to be a little bit of lemonade with um, orange, like lemon juice. Okay, you get a choice of. So, this is the new collection right here. Rachel, yeah, you sure, help me walk through it. Collection, so. This is what they gave us in our little goodie bag. There's two sheet masks. One for wrinkle solution and one, this one, the stick of hair one. Classic. And then this right here, which is the Intensive Soothing Repair Cream. It's the reformulation. I actually have this at home. Oh, I'm currently using this one. This is the one that I, like, I'm such a huge fan of right now. This is the Dr. Jarrett Stick of Hair Sleep Hair Intensive Soothing Repair Mask. 
and I use this as the finishing step every night. Um, I've started using, God, what is it called? Retin retinol, right? And so my skin's been really sensitive. So at night, it's like, I'll do it like in the way that you would slug you know, or slugging. So I'll put on a thick layer of it and it makes your skin just look so nice. And in the morning when you rinse it off, it just looks so smooth. So yeah, I've been doing this every night. I want this mask right here, which I've actually used before and I really like. Um, there's a little card. And then little samplers. So the little intensive um, soothing repair cream for like a travel bag. Oh, this is the Hero product, right? This is the Sikapir Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment, which um, I've always loved this. I will always love this. I like the little container because the big one um, it gets kind of messy, so I think I'm going to hold on to this little container so that I can just keep a little travel size jar everywhere I go and just kind of use that rather than dip into like the bigger container, you know? This I'm actually already using. I was at another event last year for Burt's Bees, also at the Grove um, in the farmer's market area. And they gave us these gift cards or gift certificates, which I've had in my wallet for like a year now. And I never used it. And since I was there, I was like, oh my gosh, that's right. I can like use that. Um, and you can use that at any of the farmer's market stores. And I got this because they carry a tea from this brand called Mariage Fray. Mariage Frere, I think. This is what it looks like. It's just a classic tea canister. I'm glad that I got rid of that space in my wallet, that gift card that I just never used because it was just sitting there. But yeah, now I'm gonna go into the Heat Ceramic store and just check out what they have. Yesterday, I went to the store called Larchmont Beauty Center. Larchmont Beauty Center. I got this toothbrush because the bristles are really hard and kind of pretty straight and I've been looking for something like this. This is a like an Italian toothbrush. I'm looking for something like this so that I can like brush back my hair. I have like so many baby hairs up here and um, I just need something to, I mean I'm wearing a headband right now, but I need something where I can spray a little bit of hairspray on it and just like push it down because when you have white hair, it's super wiry and annoying obviously um uh i mean i don't mind it once it's long but the texture of it is either really like curly and it sticks right up or it's just straight like a like like a pin needle so i have to usually just put hairspray on and then press it down but then throughout the day it comes back up again so i feel like i've seen women use toothbrushes to like you know do their edges and stuff so I bet it would be good for a little bit of homemade or a little bit of hairspray and just like, you know, pat it down. But also, I figured this would be good for my brows too. I went to the Heath store and they have um, tiles there for a dollar. I don't know about a minimum, but I was thinking it'd be cool to just make a tile installation with, you know, a, like a frame and stuff and just like put the tiles inside and then just lay it down and then use that as, if you're renting, use that as a backsplash for your kitchen or in your bathroom or whatever. And it's a frame piece so that you can remove it and then bring it with you, right? So um, I picked up some tiles, here I'll show you. From the store itself, you can only get 10. So I picked up 10 and I figured I'll just try it out at home and see what looks good and then kind of like measure what I need. There's like a bunch of different sizes that you can order. And when you buy the tiles at the store, it's a dollar a piece. It's opaque, white, antique, green, vintage rose, opal Pacific, right here. Bright yellow. This one is beautiful, manzanita. Verde. This is, this might be my favorite. These are green. Redwood. Campari red. This is so fun. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is just put these on top of the toilet or behind the bathroom where the sink is. Just lay it across and see which one looks best in the bathroom lighting because it's not natural lighting. 
and then see how that looks and then also lay these like in the kitchen to see if any of these colors will look good as the stove backdrop. Alright, I'm gonna make a cup of this delicious black tea. This is such a good present. I need to remember that. I think Lindsay likes this tea. Open this up. It smells like oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like <laughs> smell it. Um it's like super fruity mug. This is from Stevie D. He's our friend and uh, he makes really cool ceramics. This is one of them. Um, yeah, so take this and then I'm gonna boil it for five minutes. So I have to put mine in a takeaway cup because I'm gonna go meet up with Maddie. Actually, Maddie invited me to this Levi's event. She's been working with Levi's lately and they gave out these Yeti cups. Isn't that insane? <laughs> yeah, super cool. So, put that in five minutes or so. It's raining too hard, huh? Well, he's just trying to protect his lady. Yo, you okay? Woody, are you okay? This is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a sweater, long sleeve sweater, trench coat from uh, London Fog that I thrifted, some jeans, I and me jeans, and then shoes. I'm not sure which. I got Sullivan on the left and here on the right. I'm so early to Maddie's house as always. Why are you guys so close in? Let's see. Out, 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 out. Okay, I'm wearing this headband because I haven't washed my hair in a while, and uh, I don't know. It just kind of, I'm trying to wear this headband more, like especially to the studio because I'm leaning over and I don't like tying up my hair, so it just keeps everything out of my face. You know, I figured it kind of looks like Bridget Bardot, and I'm not Bridget Bardot, but aren't we all Bridget Bardot? Think about it. Tea, oh my gosh, I put it in this and it's still like burning hot. I'm gonna go in and then give Maddie this cup that I found for her at a thrift store. Where will it fit? Probably in the sink first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, this is the new one. <laughs> and then these are the old ones that I found a while ago. It's the same color. There's two of them, but here. <laughs> Excuse me. Where did you find the big one? At a thrift store also. It's so cute. You know what? The big one's cuter, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because of the inside. The little ones are fun too. Yeah. The big one has, it says France on the bottom. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's fancy as well. So it's fancy. That's what I said too. I'm like, ooh, fancy. What perfume are you wearing? Oh, this is Mason Louise Marie. Number four? Yeah. Nice, classic, classic. Yeah, so that's what you do every day. You leave the house and you spray a spritz before you go? Yeah. That's smart. Yeah. I well, never I remember. Everywhere. Yeah. Okay, so Ghani Coat. I remember yes. this. I got this in Copenhagen. Very cute. And then I have this little um, handmade shirt that I found on Etsy. It has like Oh, buttons, cute. Like, yeah. And then. Baggy ass jeans. Nice, nice. New balances. Yeah. Green socks. And just this little bag. Hey, color blocking. I wasn't planning on that, but yeah. Very cute. Lynn. Yeah. That's that, right? Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Hey. Okay, so we went to Taco Bell, not Del Taco oh. this time. I know. It feels kind of wrong. Yeah, it's okay. Uh -oh. Maddie got tickets to go to Freeze for free. Oh, yeah. And, um, well, it's working, right? Yeah. Did they only give us two hot sauces? No. Medium. Oh, what? Here. That was fun. Um, I got a crunch wrap, like a regular crunch wrap, <laughs> regular <laughs> crunch wrap supreme. And you got 
I got a black bean crunch wrap fresco style. Yeah, and they started pouring like crazy, and the guy was like, what the? Like, really violently. Yeah. Do you? What does that mean? Oh, uh, yeah. What does that mean? It says I do. Hmm. It's new lingo. So, so you don't really go to Taco Bell? Uh, no. <laughs> I went because, like, during the summer, um, I was in a commercial, and then I'm like, damn, I haven't had it in, like, 20 years or something like that. So, uh, Jason and I went, and it was good. But it's not Del Taco, you know? Here. Okay, this is really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, these are the best. This is oh, wait, we forgot a drink. Oh! We have to go get that. Oh my god. Do we even pay? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Can we get our card back? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Should we go back right now and get it? Yeah. Okay. One sec. We got so spooked from the rain. <laughs> We're like, ow. <laughs> Put your seatbelt on. It's on. Can you take it off? No. I can't believe, I can't believe we forgot our drink. Such is life, I guess. I was like, wow. Oh, I wonder if I can go through this way. Oh yeah, great. Right? Oh yeah. It worked. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, this is actually- perfect. Dang it! Look at this line. <laughs> Working man. Hi, I'm good. We were just here and we forgot to get our drink. Uh, what, what was the drink? The, the big Baja Blast. Okay. Yeah. We're behind the Orkin car. Yeah, it's good for the car. Okay. Oh my god, this is so good. Yeah, I know. What'd you get when you were at the commercial thing? Or when you guys went? I don't even remember. Yeah. It was not memorable. Damn. Do you like this better than Joe Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, it's because they have more options here. They care about us here. Sorry about that, okay? It's okay. There you go. And then uh, I'm gonna use some cinnamon twists. What? Thank oh, you. Yeah. Sorry about that, okay? Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Huh? Okay, oh, these are vegan too, Christine. Oh my god. Oh my god, that would bat me here. <laughs> Like right, right after the freeze now, we go again. <laughs> <laughs> has it changed or has it always been? Taco Bell has always been good. Yeah, right. I'm telling you. Baja Blast. Oh. Mm. Baja Blast was on the shoot too mm. for the commercial. And the funny thing is that they have to, like in, in movies, you know, they have to have a cold drink without having the sweat beads of the drink. Oh, yeah. Them. So they use these ice cubes, the prop stylist. They use these ice cubes that weren't ice cubes. Well, obviously they weren't ice cubes, but they were like silicone-y. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it was really cool. So like... Oh, that's how it didn't sweat. Yeah, but it, it looks like regular ice. That's like, really fun. I'm excited to try did this. Did he give us a straw? He did, yeah. Okay. It's a paper straw. Oh, nice. See? Uh, Taco Bell rules, Christine. We're doing everything better. Uh, I'm gonna turn the car off. Okay. <laughs> this is this is pretty great. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Not really into it. It's okay though. What? It's really um sugary. Really? I thought it was gonna be like not as. Is Baja Blast Mountain Dew? This is so good. That's good? Hell yeah. Oh, you know what it is though? I heard somewhere that, you know how like a lot of Asian snacks are not too sweet? Mm. They always like say, oh, it's not too sweet. It's because, um, this is what I heard. 
that Asian people have like their their receptors for um, sweetness it's amplified so oh so normal Western food when the sugar is like you know not that high for regular people for us we taste it like amplified so that's why it's like everything's sick sickeningly sweet oh that's weird yeah that's just what I heard I don't know but it sounds like it sounds true because every huh. Asian person I know is like oh I don't, I don't like it's too sweet wow mm-hmm and the sweets aren't that sweet, like the same. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, which way are we going? What's that one at the top? This is what we're having for dinner tonight. It's a like a beep and by beep and bop style bowl with rice, eggs, mushrooms, kale, um, some pickled uh, cucumber. There's gonna be some toppings here, sesame seeds. Just gonna put that in. Sesame seeds. Oh, furigake. Oh yeah, and then some gochujang, but it's not just gochujang, it's gochujang with um, rice vinegar and mirin and sesame seeds. Just the seeds or something else changed? Oh, mirin and... Oh, uh, mushrooms in there. These are just extras, eh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, I just flipped them off, so you should... <laughs>